Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a new rainwater purification board that I have just built. There are a few changes that I've made to this system. If you haven't watched my previous videos over this system, you'll want to go back and watch those now. They're titled How to Filter and Purify Rainwater and How to Filter and Purify Rainwater Update Number 1 and Update Number 2 that will get you caught up to where we are at today. I won't be explaining every single detail on this board, but I will be going over the differences from this water purification board and my last water purification board. One thing to know is what you see in front of you is also seen in a home called Earthships. Earthships are fully sustainable homes that use rainwater for all their water needs. This is very similar to the system that they use there are a few differences and we are missing one piece of the system which is a pressure tank that's something you'll need if you're gonna run your entire home with this system that's something I can cover in another video I won't be covering that today first I would like to start off and say that this is a temporary piece of wood that I'm using actually this is not what I'm gonna end up using I will end up expanding the system and adding a bag filter and a carbon filter to it but what I wanted to do is make this model so you can see that this is what you need for your home you don't have to have all the filters that I have, have on my other system or the UV light this will do everything you need to do for your entire house as you can see this board isn't large enough for the system I have a small piece of wood attached over here to the side to hold on the Dalton Rio 2000 again I did this because this is temporary not something I'll be using uh, forever also over here on this side is where I have the rainwater connected here uh, and that's connected from my rainwater system you can check that out on my previous videos if you want to see how the rainwater system works uh, when I turn the system on the water will feed down here into that bucket. So now for the upgrades and improvements. Number one is the Rusco spin down filter. This is changed from three quarters of an inch to a one and a half inch Rusco spin down filter. I did reduce the inlet size and the outlet to three quarter inch, but the filter itself is a one and a half inch. This allows me to filter much more water before I have to clean my filters. So they're much larger filters compared to the filters I had previously. Second change is my Remco DC pump. On my previous water board, I had a 5200 series Remco pump. This is a 5500 series Remco pump. I spoke to the owner of Remco Industries and he suggested that I use this pump and also provided me the pump to build this board and so did Rusco spin down filters and Dalton USA they all provided the items here in order for me to make the informational how-to series on how to build this board so big thank you to them and a shout out to them thirdly this is a, a switch that is not operating it is just here for your viewing pleasure it's something that you might want to do on your system I didn't use it because it's an AC switch and I have a DC pump they do make DC switches however I didn't have one but if you get an AC pump or you can use a DC switch but a switch is something you might want to use also one other thing uh, Rusco spin down filters also have these really cool covers that you can get and this is this is if you're gonna have your system out in sunlight anywhere where algae could grow on the inside of your filters this will prevent the algae from growing very cool option to get uh, the new Dalton Rio 2000 this is the newest latest version it's supposed to be the most efficient version the Dalton Rio 2000 has changed a little bit before you would loosen and tighten the housing by putting the tool it comes with on the housing itself and loosening and tightening it but now it's just this piece here that you will loosen and tighten to be able to get the ceramic candles in and out of the housing here. Another suggestion that you might consider is lowering your Dalton Rio below your Rusco uh, spin down filters to save room. You can see how I've done that here on this system where I have this stainless hose that connects to the Dalton Rio instead of having it in a direct line 
like this. Uh, it would take up more space. This can help you save a little bit of room. It can be very helpful, especially if you are limited in the amount of space that you have to put this water purification board. Another suggestion and something that I've changed is I put a PVC valve, uh, ball valve here instead of a metal ball valve like this. It's about a $10 difference and if you're on a budget that can add up. Another option and I'll put some close-ups, uh, some pitcher in pitchers, uh, is the clamps that you have here to clamp your hose, your hoses to your adapters here. This is called an ear clamp. They look a little bit more seamless and they, they do look nicer. However, they are more expensive and you need a, a particular tool, an ear clamp or an ear clamper, I guess is what it would be called, to clamp the ear clamps down. And these are just regular hose clamps, which are cheaper and you only need a screwdriver. So now I will turn on the system and let you see it running. But before I do so, just a real quick explanation of how the system works. Uh, the water is going to be drawn in from here. It will go into this first filter, which is a 250 mesh filter, uh, to prevent any debris from getting into the pump. From there, the water will be pumped up here. It will give me my pressure reading on my pressure gauge. Right now, I'm sitting at 43 PSI. From there, the water will go to this 500 mesh spin down filter. Uh, then there are two outlets here. This will be for like toiletry or laundry if you were using this in your home. After that, the water will go through a 1000 mesh Rusco spin down filter. And then after that, it'll go through the Dalton Rio 2000, which is 0 0.9 microns. To put that into perspective, a strand of hair is about 10 microns. And this is less than one micron. Okay, now to see it run. All I will have to do is turn this switch right here. Uh, my pump has an automatic pressure switch in it. So when I turn this on, it will sense the loss of pressure. Uh, you will also see it here. It will, the pressure will go down below 30 PSI and then my pump will turn on and it will turn off once I turn this valve off and it builds up to 50 PSI in these pipes here. So let me turn it on and we'll see it run. My pump is a five gallon per minute pump. Uh, realistically though, we probably filter around four gallons a minute. And those leaves aren't from the filtered water. I had this bucket out here overnight and had a little storm last night. And so a little couple leaves got in there. All right guys, well there you have it. This is a new rainwater purification board. The most efficient board that I have built so far. I hope this, this helps you in your build if you're going to build this. Coming soon will be an informational step-by-step how-to series on how to build this. And that will take me a little bit of time to edit and to put up. However, I will be putting up the time-lapse video of me building this system right after I upload this video. That time-lapse video will give you more information and just more education on how to build this system. By watching it, you can learn a lot. But let me say that I'm not an expert in, in any of this. I'm not a licensed plumber or a licensed electrician, nor do I have any certifications through any type of institute that says I know what I'm doing. I've learned all this from previous videos on the internet and through some of my own research. So keep that in mind when you're building your own. This is definitely not perfected, but if you do improve upon it, please comment below on your improvements as well as a video would be very helpful. So thanks again, everyone, and look forward to the new videos. Have a great day.